I must admit, every single day I am more and more impressed with this province. It is so beautiful that there's just not nearly enough time to see it all. Oh my God, I can see it from here. Welcome to a beautiful morning here in Newfoundland. This is the reason why we choose van life for mornings just like this, where we are parked right along the water here. Mommy's feeding the baby in bed with the panoramic window views. And it's just a nice, easy, slow, relaxing, beautiful morning here. And we have this spot all to ourselves. I don't know how, maybe because the entrance is a little tight and big rigs probably can't get in here, but wow, this spot is just absolutely incredible. This is our third episode of our Newfoundland series. We're currently road tripping all the way from St. John's back to the western side of the island. And today we are gonna see some puffins. Well, hopefully. We're at the tail end of the puffin season and we saw puffins briefly when we visited Iceland and we were hoping to see more, but it was too early in the season then. So hopefully we get a chance to see the puffins today, but there's a storm rolling in, so we need to get moving, even though we wanna stay here for a little bit longer and just take in the scenery because it's absolutely amazing. Breakfast is over. <laughs> yeah. We are currently on our way to Elliston, which is a northern city on this little peninsula that we're on. And it is apparently one of the best places to see puffins in all of Newfoundland. So we're crossing our fingers that we're gonna see them. But first, Mama needs her coffee. Not a bad view from the coffee shop, if you ask me. It's gorgeous up here. Man is a bit fussy, so we need to move quick. But what did mommy get here as a treat? We didn't eat breakfast because we're trying to get to the puffins as soon as possible. Ooh, scones, right? Two cheddar spinach scones and a date square. Wow. I saw this in the store and I was curious what a date square was. Me too. Should I try it? Yeah, give it a go. Oh, that's good. Yeah? That's real good. And this? Mmm, next level. Mmm, really good. Yeah. Good job on the selections, Mama. Mm. The date square. It's really good. I love a I good scone. And I never really had a savory scone. Cheddar spinach. Mmm, so good. Baked fresh daily. Two whales. I definitely recommend if you're driving through the area. It's a cute little... It honestly looks like a house off the side of the road, but it's so cute and the people are so nice and the food is delicious. And if you need a latte, it's pretty good. Before we go searching for puffins, I wanna say a big thank you to Holofly for sponsoring today's video. Holofly is an international eSIM provider offering an easy way for travelers to stay connected wherever they go. And we started using them back in April of last year on our first trip to Norway, and we fell in love with how convenient and easy it is to use. Holofly offers unlimited data plans in a ton of different destinations, which is great for us because we no longer have to worry about running out of data when we're researching things to do, using our GPS, or just trying to stay connected with friends and family. Our US data carriers only give us 0.5 gigabytes per day here in Canada, so without Holofly, we'd basically run out of data very quick. We also love how you can purchase your eSIM online before you get to your destination, which is huge because you don't have to worry about language barriers or you don't have to worry about finding a local SIM card carrier once you get to your destination. I actually lost my personal SIM card down in Baja two years ago, so not having to worry about physical SIMs is a huge bonus. And the last reason, and arguably my favorite reason, we no longer 
longer have to worry about international data roaming fees and getting hit with a hefty bill when we get back from a trip. To get an eSIM from Holofly, simply go to eSIM.Holofly.com, select your destination and the duration of days you want for your trip, add it to the cart, and then don't forget to add our coupon code Mathers on the map for 5% off your order. Again, that's Mathers on the map for 5% off your order. And then once you make your purchase and check out, you'll get an email with a QR code that you can simply scan and then install the eSIM to your device and then activate it once you get to your destination. If you have any questions or need help activating your eSIM, Holofly has 24 seven chat support, giving you the peace of mind and allowing you to enjoy your trip. Again, we've been using Holofly for each and every international trip that we go on, which is a reason why they are a big sponsor of our channel. And thank you again, Holofly, for sponsoring today's video. It's time to go see some puffins. Well, we're here, the parking lot, it's pretty crowded, so hopefully that's a good sign that there are puffins. Praying that there are puffins. On the little island over here. Yeah, you It's a bit of a hike, it? but golly, this coast is beautiful. So pretty. It's amazing. I swear, every corner you turn in Newfoundland is just another spectacular view. This place is incredible. As we walk by folks, they are informing us that there are a ton, so hopefully, they're sticking around, but I have a good feeling about this. Oh my God, I can see him from here. Look at him. Now. Who would have thought we'd be so excited for a bird? Yeah, we are not bird people. We're definitely we're not puffins, bird watchers, but for some reason, puffins just are the biggest exception for this, and I am so excited. Well, that was epic. Apparently, it's the closest place on land in North America to see puffins. And I definitely believe that because there were so many and you got really close to them and could really see how they interact with each other. And unfortunately, some of the gulls swoop in and steal the fish from the puffins when they're trying to bring it to, I guess, their little pufflicks. Pufflicks? Pufflings. Pufflings, pufflings. But now we're gonna head around the peninsula further northwest bound and hopefully see a pretty cool hike. What are we making? Some nachos. Ooh. It's gonna be good. Yummy. It's a bummer that it's gonna be super windy and the storm's rolling through tonight because you can park all along the cliff side there and the views are just absolutely incredible. But tonight, the winds are gonna get up to like 30 miles an hour and it's gonna rain a lot. So we don't wanna be on a cliff side on a muddy dirt road. That's gonna be a big no-no for uh, tomorrow morning. Trying to get out of that isn't gonna be good. Or God forbid something happens like a landslide or whatever. Just don't wanna take the chance. So gotta look for something else. This town really embraces the puffin culture. There's puffin seats all over and there's a puffin cafe. It's just funny. Looks pretty four wheelie. That's gonna leave it being money. I like these kind of roads. spot is so sick. I'm so stoked we have four wheel drive because we are the only vehicle who made it this far. When you think of like the rugged terrain of Newfoundland, like this is it. It is crazy these cliff sides. Reminds us of Game of Thrones a bit to be honest. So much. Who knew that Newfoundland had so many blueberries? 
There's little blueberries on this hike too. They're everywhere, my God. Oh wow. There's so many. You wanna touch a blueberry? And I would have never guessed that this far north, they would be in such abundance. Also, I don't know why, but I have this belief that when you get this high up in elevation or like in the world, on the globe, that the water is like super rough and like very uninviting and like just looks cold and like you don't want to be in it. And that is just so not the case up here. Like it is currently, that is, so calm and so, so beautiful. It's crazy. I must admit, every single day I am more and more impressed with this country or this province. It is so beautiful that there's just not nearly enough time to see it all. Buddy boy! Hi! Oh no! He's not happy. Oh no! You're okay. It's okay, boy. Look, your ball. That spot was so epic. Now we have one more before heading into town to celebrate with some ice cream. Well, seven minutes down the road, we're here at Dungeon Provincial Park. And boy, is it getting windy. The storm is getting close. What do you think, boy? What do you think? He was a bit cranky earlier. <laughs> he just wanted some food. So he got some milk and now he's no, he's chilling. He's chilling. I don't know how much longer he's going to be chilling for. We need to get to our camp spot soon, but here we go. What do we got here? So this spot is officially part of the parks of Newfoundland, and you can tell because it's a little bit, well, it is built up with railings and wooded platforms, unlike the other spot we were at, which is just, you know, go at your own risk and just make sure you don't fall off a cliff. Boy. While we're in Bona Vista, we are taking one last pit stop for some homemade ice cream. It's the reward for the end of the day here. It looks super good in the reviews, so. Homemade. We're excited. And it's actually really nice out right here because we're not super, super close to the coast right now. So it's kind of warm. Well. The peach ice cream to top it off. So good. Homemade and new for 2023 and it was, it didn't disappoint. No, it didn't. We are off to food land and then to our camping spot because the little man needs some sleep and relaxation. He's a bit cranky right now. But he did really good today. We can't be upset. Really good. The rain has officially come, but luckily for us, we saw everything that we had on our list and we actually saw Puffin. You're in trouble, Dad. What? This was your strawberry sorbet. And where'd you find it? In the car seat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. We're lucky he doesn't have a splinter. Why? Maybe you wanted a little, hey, you want to taste some sorbet? Anyway, that's it for us. We are just getting ready. We're having an easy night. And we'll see you in the next one.